The color of truth is gray. Andre Guide. If you enjoy my work, please help me by sharing and liking this video. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, and so I would say that many of the cryptocurrencies out there don't even meet the definition of money. Uh, I mean, they are very speculative investment assets, uh, and that's fine. But again, I, I would not describe this at the, that we're anywhere near the point of uh, central banks losing their monopoly power over money. The central banks will not lose their monopoly power over money. Is it possible for them to paper over the debt? For them to keep adding layers of debt on top of this system? We will find out, but it looks like the initiative for CBDCs is exactly that. Digital money is a tool for them to further their reach and control. At the Federal Reserve. Sure. If Lael Brainerd's position opens up on the Federal Reserve Board and room is made for Kenneth Rogoff, uh, who has written about the eradication of cash and who has written about penalizing savers in best selling books, that's not Chinese and that's not communism. Those are ideas that were homegrown in the United States for penalizing savers for holding cash. Yeah. So those types of, of ideas uh, already exist in the dialogue among current uh, United States central bankers, big economics thinkers. So the changing of the guard at the end of this year is going to be so critical because you know, Rogoff has said publicly before that Japan did a poor job of imposing negative interest rates and that with with, with a better educate yeah, better educating the public as to its virtues and attributes that it could be better done in the united states i mean these are the things that make the hair on the back of your neck stand up and yet there are people in place who would have come into a hillary clinton administration had donald trump not won the election and but these are just the facts of life if it's just been a matter of pu pushing this on pause and you have the correct individuals in place, Janet Yellen at Treasury, Lael Brainerd as Fed Chair, Ken Rogoff on the Federal Reserve Board, you could have the right cast of characters to have a situation where it's China and the United States penalizing recipients of funds for holding anything extra in their accounts. We will 100% move to digital currencies. Ken Rogoff, Lael Brainerd, and Janet Yellen are positioned in the right places. Digital currencies will be their go-to reaction to any type of economic stress. They want money to have a burn rate, they want it conditional, and they want to surveil you. You know, everyone who follows Ripple closely and follows the XRP community closely can appreciate when we're working with particularly large banks or really any customer, you know, we try to respect, you know, any announcements to, to respect what they want to announce when they want to announce it, things like that. And so that sometimes that's frustrating for us. You know, I remember there was a certain patent filing that came from one large bank that referenced Ripple in a certain way, and of course generated a lot of questions, and I didn't have much to say about that. Uh, you know, there was some attention, you know, because some central bankers' schedules are public information. Uh, so I, you know, I've seen the, the, the rumors out there. The certain patent that Brad's talking about was Bank of America's patent. It was revealed that Brad met with a central banker in Brazil. With XRP, you can have exact settlement costs before the transaction happens. Brazil had an inflation crisis, so what would that mean for the Forex markets if they can provide exact settlement costs? On the XRP ledger. And so we have, I have said publicly, you know, we often are asked by central banks to come and talk to them about whether it's the XRP ledger or about, you know, how we think about uh, the future of payments using digital assets. Uh, and, you know, because of our unique position with, you know, really compelling technology and the, the ability to offer a private version of, you know, the open source technology is XRP Ledger, you know, central banks can manage and create and manage their own digital currency. So, uh, again, we haven't been shy about the fact, yes, we're having the conversations with many banks, many central banks around the world. Uh, you know, we did some research, I think we publicly shared that, you know, we think about 80% of central banks around the world are actively investigating one way or another what CBDCs could mean for, for their technology or for their uh, economy. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue to do that and when we have announcements, we'll certainly do so. The XRP ledger has been around since 2011. 
80% of central banks are looking into central bank digital currencies, and the XRP ledger is free for them to use. It's open source. What happens if central banks use the XRP ledger to issue their CBDCs? It's a vote of confidence for the technology. The infrastructure is set up off of the XRP ledger. This opens the door for the public asset to be used as a bridge between central banks. This also means innovators will build on top of and around of the central bank digital currency or the private XRP ledger technology. The companies that want to create programmable money, wallets, decentralized exchanges, etc. would need to build that specific to the CBDC technology or the private XRP ledger. If I have a Windows PC, I can use all the apps that are built for Windows. If central banks built their money off of the XRP ledger, the app builders will build the app specific to the XRP ledger, and then those apps can easily mitigate from the private to the public XRP ledger. The more apps built on top of the XRP ledger, the more value the network has. There's a debate amongst many central banks on do you make smart money or not smart money? I believe you don't make smart money. I think money should be a utility that has very little function, storing value, moving value, doing it safely, and let everybody else innovate. So if I want to create smart money to stop me from doing something stupid with my money, I'll buy a wallet that has technology in it that someone builds that stops me from spending money I shouldn't spend, or from spending money that's supposed to be for food, for non-food, like food stamps related uh, activity. So I think there's plenty of room for innovation uh, over on top of money, and we should not complicate the money itself by trying to make it smart. So a couple of different topics you know, put in there. And whether that's smart contracts or just software in a wallet or some creative organization that figures out how to solve an existing problem like uh, the unbanked or cross-border, I think this is plenty of opportunity for innovation on top of a CBDC. The developers for the XRP ledger have always said that this is specific to payments, that that's the reason why they never added smart contracts. It could be used like banknotes. I don't think it is like banknotes because it will not have the degree of anonymity that banknotes have. And, and I find it very interesting, by the way, that in the consultation that we, got, we conducted, um, that consumers who responded in very large numbers said, uh, we want our privacy to be protected, but we, want, we don't want anonymity because they understand the risk of anonymity when it comes to digital uh, currencies. Central bank digital currencies will be monitored by artificial intelligence. Your transactions will remain private until AI flags the transaction. When that happens, the private transactions will become public for the authorities to analyze. Artificial intelligence needs to be taught and over time the AI learns. That means the AI will need to practice and it will not be accurate. Imagine a world where your spending habits can be flagged. You'll have to answer the authorities due to errors in the AI. So as you say, Gita, one of those boxes to tick is, is in fact trading. And, and China right now, as you know, is working with several of its trading partners to set up a cross-border payment system based on a digital renminbi. Some of its partners are very keen to break free from the dollar system, like Iran. Do you think we could see a, 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 a Chinese renminbi trading block emerge? And if so, wouldn't that, by definition, be a threat to the dollar primacy? So again, I think that I think China has, uh, you know, has has made clear that they do intend to work with the international community to ensure that any kind of cross body use is not disruptive to the global economy and certainly doesn't support any kind of nefarious activities. Uh, and so again, you know, this will happen in stages. And so we can see how that uh, how that builds up. We are in a trade war with China because we can't trust China. What makes us different? Am I supposed to believe that China won't use their digital currency for international trade because they said they won't? So there's been mentions and talks like the, the, the Fed payments now, I think, has endorsed Ripple and the technology and the work you guys have been doing. Um, has there been ongoing conversations with them? Are you supporting them in any way with coming up with a CBDC or whatever it may be? We're talking to lots of governments around the world. The Federal Reserve and the Bank of England. Didn't we hear something about a Bitcoin recently? Okay. 
Now, there's, there's I mean, the- if I start if I start commenting on specific governments <laughs> talking about that, it, it's like it's you know I'm not it's, it's a game that's like look, uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, provide transparency and clarity to kind of all all of those pieces and uh yeah. suffice it to say you know again i'll go back to just the xrp ledger is extremely efficient it's ex- ex- efficient from a, a cost per transaction a speed of transaction and look in one of the things we haven't talked about today the the, the energy footprint of these technologies it matters it really really matters i it, i feel i'm always been someone who has cared about you know how do we do well by the environment and brad is saying i can't answer questions about these central banks but the tech speaks for itself ethereum is tied with central banks across the globe but what brad's saying is the other aspect of this is green energy matters as you know ethereum is proof of work man cannot discover new oceans unless he has the courage to lose sight of the shore Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you enjoy my work, please consider joining my Patreon.